you're watching UCSD TV, La Jolla, California.
Guadalupe Posada. <laughs> mm. Jose Guadalupe Posada's mother and father met at a town dance. When? Jose was born on February 7th, 1852 in the Mexican city of Aguascalientes. Even as a youngster, he already had an itch for the arts and getting his hands in the ink. In 1888, he moved to Mexico City where he began working as an illustrator for the publisher A. Vanegas Arroyo. That's where he met me. At night, while he was working, I would crawl on his shoulder and whisper ideas in his ear. When Jose first met El Barbón Vanegas, he got the whole pinche rollo. Suertes de prestidigitación, adivinanzas, juegos de estrado, cuadernos de cocina, dulcero, paletero, brindis, versos para payaso, discursos patrióticos, comedias para niños, Olítares bonitos cuentos. We ended up spending a lot of time together since I was the old timer and he was new in town. We would make the rounds each day at lunch. First to Rosita la Camotera, Lupe la Tripera, Petronilla la Quesera, and Doña Paz la Tamalera. I remember around the time Jose arrived here, the dictator Porfirio Diaz had ordered the installation of electric lights and trolley cars. He had many opponents, but Diaz made sure they eventually fell in line. Fuego! 
The end of October was my favorite time of the year because we would always print calaveras for the Day of the Dead celebrations on November 1st and 2nd. These included the calaveras of the important leaders of the time. Mi reino por aguardiente de parras. En calaveras of el pueblo. Otro mezcalito, comadre, para curar las penas. Oh, oh, bueno, compadre, pero también sírvame uno para mi difuntito. Un brindis para el muertito. Y mole para la pancita. Ay, hasta en la muerte tenemos que aguantar la chusma. Not too many people know that Posada was also on the payroll of Zapata's ultra-secret intelligence bureau. Hijo de la patada. Deja de explotar al pueblo. Pinche revoltoso. Prueba lo frío de mi espada. So occasionally, we would get a call from Don Emiliano. Bueno, imprenta Vanegas Arroyo. Pepe, mi ejército se fueron de mojados a Los Ángeles. Ayúdame a partirles la madre a esos federales. A la orden, mi general. ¡Ay! ¡Qué calor! ¿Y tú, panzón? ¿Quieres mole? Mole te daré. ¡Ay! I knew there was only one thing to do. I called el santo. ¿Ves que me has derrotado? Pero no soy Porfirio Díaz. En realidad, soy Pete Wilson. Ah, sí. Pues tú crees que soy el santo. Pero realmente soy César Chávez. The boxer? But tío, what happened to Señor Posada? Oh, yeah. Well, he died in 1913, was buried in a pauper's grave, and was an inspiration for many Mexican artists to come. El fin. So, Melody, who did you vote for last week?
see it. You think so? Yep. Well, speaking of opinions, Visions would love to know yours. Now stay tuned because right after this video, we're going to tell you how to voice your opinion about what you're seeing here tonight. Now pay attention to this next video because the beginning is very, very important. This is JD hanging out with ME in the I House in the Pepper Canyon apartments here at UCSD. Now, as I understand it, I House, there are many foreign exchange students, are housed while they study at UCSD. So here we are kicking back with a small model of our world community. All right, now Visions 
is interested in your comments also. If you'd like to comment about any of the videos that you're seeing here tonight, send us a note to Visions TV, UCSD, Care of Visions, Campus Mail Code 0012. Now remember, you don't need postage if you use inter-campus mail, and we'd also like to hear from those motorists on the information Super Highway by sending us a mail, email to visions-tv at UCSD. Or you can even use the old-fashioned telephone and dial 534-7076. You know, Joel, speaking of a motorist on a highway, have you ever gotten a traffic ticket because you didn't understand what a traffic sign meant? No, 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 Melanie, not me. But I think that's what the makers of sign language were thinking about when they put together this exciting video. So let's roll into it right about now. fragments, shuffling memories without origin. It seems as if all his time was spent in transition. Movement and abrupt stops in arbitrary places. Learning and relearning. Was there a destination? He could not remember. Someone gave him a code book to decipher what. He tries anyway. possible to limit the symbol to mere meaning and definition, it is possible to provide or indicate a point of departure for a voyage of exploration, a two-way journey or quest of mind and spirit, of inner depth and outer height, the imminent and transcendent, the horizontal and the vertical planes. Symbolic usage, mediate in itself, can lead to the immediate and to direct apprehension. Choice. The union of opposites, the meeting place of time and space, a magic but also dangerous place. Burials of suicides, vampires, and felons at crossroads ensured their confusion of ways and prevented their return to haunt the living. Sacred to Hecate, dogs were sacrificed to her there. Associated with Ganesha and Janus, one of the oldest gods in the Roman pantheon, he was represented as having two faces, one looking forwards and the other backwards. During the reign of Janus, people were perfectly honest. There was plenty and there was complete peace. The divine triad. The rising moon and setting sun, time as past, present and future. Separation, phallic, lightning, rain, fecundity, virility, power, war. What were the markers really for? How far to what? How far till there were no more markers? They are always there, looming like tombstones, with epitaphs that seem to say, you are far away from home. What was home like? Had it changed? How was mom?
tell you what, Melanie, I'll never run a stop sign again. Now these next two films are kind of uh, abstract. No, did you know there was film by the artistic and very popular Paolo Devanzo using a Super 8 camera? I didn't know that, but I do know what the titles of these next films are. They are End and First Church. Check it out.
of abstract with a dash of sensuality and a little side helping of vegetables. What? Vegetables? Yeah, vegetables! That's what Hindsight by Cheryl Rowe is all about.
How can you say it when you uh, lose a race and you see the victory running away? Quote unquote, your La Plata in, in slang terms in the Chicano community means the police. And uh, the term itself mainly means the badge. I remember at uh, one time getting uh, pulled over and the officer wasn't unsure what to write me a citation for. And I told him right away, uh, the code you're looking for is 2400.7, which I was operating an unsafe vehicle. Well, lowrider to me is uh, more of a cultural aspect in a sense. Uh, a lowrider is a sense of being, it's a lifestyle, and more than anything, I think it's, 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 uh, it's an art form. I think that uh, a lowrider expresses himself through his car, his vehicle, his style, his, his way of being to a great extent. It turns out that the ultimate car in lowriding is the Impala. Early 60s Impala is the best chosen car. For one thing, it has a beautiful body line, the suspension they has in it lends itself to uh, installing hydraulics in it. And uh, for some reason, Hispanics just love Chevy. That girl will come and go, but I'll tell you one thing, the car will always be there for you.
produced by a very creative director. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this evening, but we'd like to encourage you to get in touch with us by writing or calling Vision. Our mailing address is UCSD TV, Care of Vision, Campus Mail Code 0012. And our email address is visionstv at UCSD. Or you can call the UCSD TV response line at 534-7076. If you want us to get in touch with you regarding your film or video or hosting the show from your dorm or apartment, you'll have to write to us or send us email. We can't return phone messages, but we will respond to all letters and emails. Emails, and if they're good enough, we might even read some of them on the air. Okay, now, <laughs> before we say goodnight, we have to read some of this legal stuff. Visions has been pre-recorded on location here at UCSD. Some of the films and videos you saw tonight were submitted to the Red Lion Video Collective, which is not associated with Visions. Visions is not responsible for the manner in which any subliminal messages in this broadcast may affect you. Alrighty then. The producers of Visions would like to send a special happy birthday to Corrine Milstein, and also special thanks to the Red Lion Video Collective, Sherman George, Lynn Bernstein, Lisa Lewis, all the people in iHouse, and Roy Guerrero. See you next week. Stay tuned. Bye.